Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Cooking for the Family. I'm Devon and today I'm going to share with you how to make this wonderful, delicious soup. It is called Sopa and it is something that my children love. My sister-in-laws taught me how to make it many years ago. My family just really enjoys it and this is how you do it. It is simple. So we're going to be using one clove of garlic. Now with Sopa, you can use a various different packages of the noodles. We are using the fadillo, or like my husband says, sope de fadillos. Also, the noodles are referred to, the soup is referred to as sopita, and the noodles come in different varieties. They come in shells, uh, elbow macaroni, little stars, ABCs, just different various shapes that you can buy in these little packages. Now in our blender, we put the um, onion, the garlic, and tomato sauce. We're also going to put some chicken bouillon and this one tablespoon of chicken bouillon. Now when I put in my one can of tomato sauce, I also filled the can um, that I emptied the tomato sauce out of. I filled that can with water and I added that to the blender as well. Now the um, chicken bouillon, that was one tablespoon of the chicken bouillon, and then you want to blend your chicken bouillon, your tomato sauce, your garlic, and your onion all together, okay, in addition to the water that I also added from that one can. Now in the description box below, I'm going to have a list of all the ingredients you need to make sopita, okay? Now next what we're going to do is we're going to take our pot and in our pot you're going to put one tablespoon of vegetable oil. And you can also use um, olive oil as well. I've used olive oil in the past. And we're going to use two packages. Now with this recipe you can use two packages or one package. And now what we're doing is we're toasting our noodles. You want to toast them to bring out that nice nuttiness. And so you're going to toast them. And I'm toasting our noodles. I'm going to be toasting them on a medium heat. And you want to do a nice even toasting. And so what I like to do is I put in my one, my first package. I move the noodles around really good. And then I add my second package and I move them around just like that. Because I have found in the past that if I add both packages at once, sometimes some of the noodles will tend to start to stick together. And so I like to put in one package, I just saute them around a bit, and then I add in my second package, okay? And so just do it just like that, do a nice even layer, move them around, let them sit, but this is the pot that you don't wanna walk away from because the noodles will go from nice and toasted to burned really easily and so you just want to kind of watch them and so what's going to happen is they're going to get a translucent color and then some of them will get nice and brown now about 50 percent of your noodles will end up brown you don't have to brown all your noodles just about half of them will get a nice toasty golden color just like we have here and you just keep moving them around in your pot now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returner, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, it's free. And I hope you click that subscribe button and become one of my wonderful subscribers. Now, what we did was we added in that mixture. Now, to the mixture that I had in the blender, I also added in six cups of water, okay? And so after I blended everything in the blender that we had earlier, to that I added six cups of water and then we added that to our pot. Now you see here like with the garlic, sometimes the blades of the blender may not capture all the pieces of garlic and so this is what I do. I fish out, if there's a big piece of garlic, I just go in and fish that out the pot and I go on and I just finally chop it up. I just mince that little piece and then I add it back to the pot, okay? So it's not uncommon that with a blender, sometimes it doesn't always capture those pieces of garlic well. And so just go on and do that. So after I added in the six cups of the water, now to that I added in two more cups of water. And so I took my blender that I had, that I poured, um, that our liquid was in. Now, after I did that, I just swooshed around two more cups of water to get the rest of the essence out of that blender and I added them to the pot. So total, that was eight cups of water. Now we put our lid 
on our pot and you're gonna let it come to a nice boil just like it's doing here and then we mix everything around now our noodles will cook in about 20 minutes all right and so we just move everything around because we want our noodles to be nice and soft and we're just moving everything around and this is looking great our noodles are doing great now with sopa we usually have it with some tortillas we'll have usually corn tortillas i'll make a nice chicken so we'll usually have like a roast chicken or sometimes i'll go just get a chicken a roasted chicken from the grocery store and we'll have this with some tortillas i'll make a salad on the side and that is a nice full meal our sopa is looking really good let's go on and give it a taste for seasoning and tenderness mm. Mm -hmm. just need a little bit more seasoning so I added just a couple of pinches of salt there and then our noodles need a little bit more time they need to get just a little bit more tender now something with sopa as it continues to cook and cool what's going to happen is your noodles will expand more and you won't have as much liquid in your pot now there's two things that you can do in reference to that one is you can use just one pack of noodles one pack of the noodles is enough for four to five people. I use two because we like to have leftovers the next day. So the kids take it to their in their lunch, in their thermoses. But if you're using two packages like I am and you want more liquid, what you do is add one more additional can of tomato sauce and then also two more additional cups of water so one can of tomato sauce two cups of water and then you want to season that up to your taste with a little bit more bouillon okay well i have served us up some of our sopita it looks so good it smells so good let's go on and give it a try the noodles are nice and tender wow okay let's see how we did with this dish Mmm, oh, it's so comforting. Wow, I hope you give this recipe a try. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click share and share this video with a friend or family. Well, that is it for me today, guys. And remember, it is always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.